You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's a game called Knockout from Milton Bradley. Uh, game number 4241. Two or more players, ages 7 and up, carefully remove and stack bricks without knocking down the wall. So check it out. He has what's called the Rammer Hammer. Knocks out bricks with the motorized Rammer Hammer. Don't let the wall fall in this whackin' stacking game. So it's these cool translucent blocks in different configurations. Here, I can flip it over carefully, very carefully. All right, so this, uh, let's see, I don't see a year here. I'll see a year if there's instructions on the inside. Uh, so this is what it looks like. So you get these colored blocks. Some are three long, some are two long, and some are one long. And you're taking your rammer hammer and trying to push them out. And as you knock them out, you'll see you take them. So roll the die, pick a brick, then knock it out with the rammer hammer. Balanced, balanced knocked out bricks on top. Can this wobbly wall hold one more brick? So then you're moving your brick to the top after you knock it out. Then eventually, it falls. So it looks like a really neat game. So let me get all the pieces out and we'll get started and play a round of knockout. All right, here we go. Everything is out of the box. There's 28 of these translucent blocks. Now see, these are uh, singles, doubles, and triples. Here, I'll show you one of each right down here. There's a triple, there is a double, and there is a single. And I stacked them up the way they're supposed to be stacked. These lines need to be vertical, going up and down. You're not supposed to put them this way or with the X's. So you just got to remember to stack them that way. Basically, so when you look at the wall, you're not sure sometimes if you have a double or a triple, unless you really look at it carefully when it's stacked, right? Well, I put those back. And I thought, too, if you ever get a chance to buy this game just for these, these would be pretty cool for display pieces, for toys or other things in your collection. You can put little figures on the stands. I know, it's crazy, but oops. I thought, why not do that or something like that? And then you can put a figure or build things. It's almost like the game is very reminiscent of a Jenga. Remember Jenga? Where you're actually building block a block tower and then poking them out with your finger as opposed to a tool. Now let me show you that tool real quick. Wow, everything's falling. So this is the Rammer Hammer. Now I press this button and this is what knocks out the bricks. Watch. So using that to tap them out. And then here is the die. So you roll it, right? And then the color it is, is the color you have to knock out. Now let's just take a quick look at these two cardboards come with it. This is your base that the tower stands on. And this is your main tower structure, which is also your instruction. So let me flip it over so you can kind of get an understanding. Because at some points, uh, when it's your turn to knock out a block, you're not allowed to knock out blocks that are sitting in the open because they're too easy to knock out, right? You'd have to, uh, like in this example, you can knock out any bricks except for bricks A, B, C, and D. Brick A is the knockout brick, always off limits. Brick B, C, and D are uncovered bricks on the level of the knockout brick, so you can't do any of those above. Uh, even though bricks E and F are uncovered, they can be knocked out because they're below the knockout brick. So that is a little tidbit of information. There's the rules. Setup. Well, look, they pretty much give you the setup. So they tell you where you want blocks. Now, there's no color restriction or you don't have to put certain blocks you want to kind of just mix it up right and just make sure they're all vertical okay so I don't want to put too many colors near each other so the knockout brick always goes there that's the easiest one <laughs> You just build your structure, and I'll show you. It's neat how it all goes together and stacks. Now, the way you see the wall, the wall's going to actually lift. And let me put this one. Now, I'm going to put this one in here. Ooh, I 
put two of those there. That's okay. Okay. So I'm just going to verify I have them all going in the correct direction. Okay, pretty good. Now you'll see at the top there's this cardboard flap here. I'll show you. That's actually going to hold this all together. You take this here, because this is your knockout area, and you push and hold the whole thing, and then tilt it up. Hold on, let's see if I could adjust my camera to where you now have your wall. Ah, look at that, the colors. Let me just tidy up a little bit here, squeeze them together. Okay. There, there's my wall. I wish I, well, maybe I could slide it over carefully. So it's in the camera a little better. Okay, so there's my knockout block. See, now that's the one that's going to... Now look at it. You're not sure sometimes what's a double, what's a triple. So now, based on the rules. Roll the die and pick a brick. Roll the color die. Then choose one brick of the color you rolled to knock out. If you roll a wild star, choose any color. Knock out the brick, use the rammer hammer. And then stack the knocked out brick on top of the wall on the same level... As the knockout brick or above, always stack the bricks so that its ribs are vertical. Now pass on to the next person. So here we go. I got a blue. So I'm going to give it a shot here. I will knock out this because this is a single and I can tell right away. Ooh, careful. Go straight. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go again. Here, I'll roll back here. A star. So I think I want to try one of these harder ones. Like, hmm, I can't do that one. Can't do that one. Let me take out one of these big ones here. No, I can't. it's weird. You gotta decide. The singles. Oh, I could take out this one. Okay. Now I'm probably not supposed to reset them, but. For sake of the video, I'm going to break some of the rules. Now, what happens? Okay, let's see. Using the rammer, hold the rammer hammer in any way that's comfortable. Point the tip of the hammer. Okay, pro knockout rules. You may knock out any brick below the level of the knockout brick. You may knock out a brick on the same level as knockout brick or above it, only if your chosen brick is covered, at least one brick is touching it. So once you knock this out, game is over. You may choose your mind and choose a different brick to knock out, even after you've begun hammering, but you must make your final decision before knocking out a brick. How do you handle a wobbly wall? That's good to know. By hammering it, of course, before knocking out your chosen brick, you may hammer bricks to stabilize the wall, or you may set up your knockout by hammering bricks to the side to slide them aside. Use only the rammer hammer, never hands. No more hammering allowed after your brick is knocked out. Okay, so I broke the rules there. Let's try to get a difficult brick out. I'm going to try to get this one out right here. Just Now I'm just playing. Let's see if it knocks my wall down. So I could come back now and nurture my wall back. Okay. going to be a tough one. Let's see if I can handle it. I'm guessing... Ooh, there we go. Alright. I'll just roll. So, orange. Now, I feel like my wall's unstable, so I'm going to knock some things back in. You have to be careful here. Okay. So, orange. Now, I guess I could take this one out because it's open and easy for me since I'm orange and I don't want to knock anything down. Now, what I, what if I stack that there? I don't know. Is there a rule to restacking? Oh, got to be on the level with the knockout block. All right. Let's do another. I got another orange. Now, it's going to be tough, but I think I can get this one out or this one. Got it. Now I'm building my wall. I guess I could stick them on top of that if I wanted to. And let's roll again. The anticipation of my wall falling. Now this one's going to be tough. I can get this one out. 
Oh, the next person is in deep trouble. That would be me. So let's just say it's me. And now I'm going to try to get out a blue, which will be really difficult. I'll try this one. Maybe there's a slight chance I can get this one out. Let's see if I knock the wall down. Ah, okay, I think I'm still okay. Because I didn't knock the knockout brick. Hmm. What does it say there? Okay, so you may knock out a brick and okay. Hmm. Doesn't really say. Well, let's go more. Let me do more. I'll have to read it a little bit later. So now a pink. I just like knocking the bricks. All right, this is going to knock the whole... Let's see. No, it's not. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. What else do you think I could take out without... Now well, let's just destroy the whole thing. All right. I'll get this one out of the way. Oh, whoa. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's still staying. Let's see how many I can take out without knocking here. Ah! Well, there you go. Let me just knock it all down. Aha! All right. Let me uh, reset it back up one more time, because I think it's just cool to look at, and I'll give it one more shot. All right, here we go. I'm going to set it up again. I did read that those blocks that you do accidentally knock out, those become out of play. So you just keep going with your structure. And it's pretty random because you're going to set these blocks different every game. I thought these were, like I said, pretty cool, just the blocks themselves. So other than that, uh, I'm going to do this one more time, because I feel like stacking it up one more time and showing you the flipping of the game board. So what do you think? If you watched this far in the video and you want to leave a comment now, you think it's a cool game? Would you play the game? Or is this not your kind of game? Is there games you just don't like to play? Is this one of them? Ooh, lots of blues together. Okay. So remember now, I'm going to tighten this up a little bit more this time. I'm just going to use this. I didn't do that last time. Remember, you're holding this here, which kind of crunches it all together. Here, see? There's the stacking guide. It says, place the building board on a flat surface. Place the bricks to fit by size onto the wall. Brick ribs must be run vertical, which we did. Place the knockout brick on the top location, which we did. Then press the wall setup, and then carefully remove the building board. Leave the wall standing on the wall setup guide. All right, so here we go. Let me do it this way so you can actually see the walls. It's coming up. Here we go. So I'm putting top pressure and down pressure. There. Move that out of the way. And now I'm ready for knockout. So now I think I'm just going to make it fall. But I think you get the premise of the game. So here we go. Ooh. Whoa. The singles, of course, are the easiest ones. I'm knocking out a bunch of the singles. Oop. Yeah, it's up there. Brick hits this edge here, that wall is going down. It's neat that you can restructure your wall if you need to. All right. These 
these long ones got to be really hard to get at the right moment. This one's okay. I wonder if I started with the long one, if it would be easier or harder. Remember now, I'm supposed to be building these back up, so technically speaking, and putting them the right way. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. It's colorful. All right, time to knock this tower down. Let's make it a good destruction. Any one of these bottom bricks and this whole thing is gone. So here we go. And by the way, thanks for watching. If you like these older type games like this, then look in the description below, or as always, just search our channel and leave a comment if you like seeing these kinds of games. We have about, uh, I don't even know. Tons. I'm gonna knock the whole thing down. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.